G'day. Well, here we are at the end of a, a, a very successful brew day. I just wanted to have a recap and just start uh, to finish off. Um, so, you know, I've been doing the chocolate milk porter and um, I've really enjoyed it. So I've used a different hop. Uh, the Willamette, I've never used that hop before, but when I put it into the um, into the into the wort, it, the smell of it was was something special. It was very very nice. I enjoyed it. So the opportunity to to try another hop with a different recipe has been awesome. Um, so I said initially that I had trouble with my pH on paper on the computer, but um, I decided to just sort of ignore the software on the computer and just go with my gut feeling. And I actually managed to get a pH of uh, 5.5, which is probably a little bit up, but for a dark beer like that, it's probably fine. Um, so just goes to show you, you know, I wasn't really, um, the, the numbers weren't resonating with me. So I just went with what I wanted, you know, with what I thought. And so I just put some calcium chloride and some calcium carbonate, and that, that's all I did. So, um, and and the um, the pH was fine. So, um, yeah, so that was one thing. Um, so I've got my, my starter here, that's the SO5 harvested, and I've obviously done the starter. Um, I'll be pitching it in, I'll be, well, I'll be pitching it in to probably be about 21, 22 degrees or something like that. Um, but I'll have it, the fermenter set for uh, 19. Um, so I put 200, so it, it called for 250 grams of cocoa, uh, so it's the low fat or, or no fat, it's very, you know, um, so it's less than, less than a gram, uh, I think I said that, and also 250 grams of uh, lactose. Now the, the recipe actually called for a little bit less than that, but I sort of just rounded it up a bit. Um, it kind of made sense to me, the cocoa came in a 250 gram box, so might as well use the whole lot. And the lactose came in a 500 gram bag, so I use half it because I really want to do this recipe again. Um, the the cocoa um, dissolved really well uh, into the what I did, and unfortunately the video video that I did for that actually mixing the cocoa up uh, didn't turn out for some reason. So, but what I actually did was I got that pot and I put it into the wort and took about half the pot of wort, and then I tipped the cocoa into the wort. Uh, in the, you know the pot of wort, and I did, I mixed it round for about five minutes, and it became really really smooth. And then um, then I added it back in, so that that worked really well. Um, uh, so that's about it. Um, the new HLT tank worked really really well. Everything was the, the day went was pretty much uh, flawless. There was there were no issues. Um, I enjoyed working with different ingredients. Um, than what I've done before, it's actually really nice to, to break away from my comfort zone and, and do something a little bit different. So, um, and the um, the gravity reading was uh, 1051, just bang on the button. So overnight mash, um, what can I say? It was really good. The underletting, the new style of underletting uh, that you saw really in the video, that went really, really well. Uh, the crush on the grain that they did at the shop was beautiful. It was just, there wasn't hardly any powder at all. It was just, it was just a beautiful crushed malt. Um, so he's obviously been working on that at my local shop. Um, Irish moss, um, everything like that. I'm going to sit back now and, um, and have a beer. Um, I'm still knackered. <laughs> yeah, the HLT has taken a lot of work out of it, but still, still, a, it's still a big day, and I still enjoy it as much as I used to. So. Um, so good to be able to continue to do it. I don't think I've got anything else. Uh, thanks to Skid Baxter for the um, for the recipe. I really enjoy it. I'll be leaving a link to his uh, channel. He's going to be doing some uh, some brew videos on his channel. Um, most of his channels got uh, music, um, and I also leave a link to Skid Baxter's um, uh, web page. So you can have a look at his music and have a listen to his music and follow it up on Spotify and um, it's it's great stuff. It's really I just really want to try and push it push it out to you that uh, not all the good, not all the music that you hear on the radio or it's it's that's not there's more to music than that. There's people out there that are really playing uh, some outstanding stuff. So I'll put those links here. Also to Drunken One, I'll put um, a um, a link to his channel because uh, he was the one who actually first introduced me to the. Um, the um underletting so um that's it from me um
just remember with all the worries of the world and the world is in a bit of chaos at the moment you can always if you can make some time for a bit of brewing it takes you away from that and gives you a bit of a rest from the dramas so cheers take care